Hello bitches, it's me, the creator of such renowned, critically acclaimed shows such as The Clone Wars and The Mandalorian. And today we're going to be playing one of the most overrated, outdated Star Wars games in existence, Dark Forces. I don't know who greenlit a remaster over at Lucasfilm Games, but it sure as shit wasn't me. I would never approve of a Doom ripoff getting a re-release. But I decided to play it today because it's a time waster. And I got to relax after all the hard work I'm doing on the Heir to the Empire movie, so let's play. Oh wow, real original. Why the hell are they ripping off Rogue One? I can't believe whoever designed this game thought it was okay to copy not just Doom, but Rogue One too. You gotta love how we don't even get an opening cutscene, we're just thrown straight into the game. I guess they really thought having a story was pointless. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I'm not even past the first goddamn level and I can't even find my way around. I also really hate how the main character is just a one-man army. Very realistic, isn't it? Oh, finally I found the Death Star plans. Now it's time to leave. You know, this game is missing something crucial, and that's Ahsoka. What a missed opportunity. I wonder what Vader is thinking about here. It's probably about Ahsoka. He's probably wondering if he'll ever see her again. Wow, that Imperial dude has a really fat face. Dude should go on a weight loss program. Those dark troopers look really cool, not gonna lie. Too bad they're wasted on such a bad game as this. The game designer should be happy I decided to include them in The Mandalorian. Kyle Katarn here looks like he's Asian, but they made him a white dude in the sequel. That's kind of racist, not gonna lie. This level is really bad, nothing much more to say about it, honestly. Why does every single dog shit game need a sewer level? That's like one of the most hated video game tropes ever. It's the third level, for Christ's sake. You know, the weapon that guy is holding looks cooler than anything we actually get to use. Ahsoka really would have made this game better because this game is just boring. It took me five hours to get here because I was stuck. You know, what annoys me about the non-canon Expanded Universe Defenders is that they think this metal being called Frick is fine, but they then throw a tantrum when J.J. Abrams named a character Bob Boo Frick. Such hypocrites, they can never be pleased. Even bringing back Thrawn wasn't enough. A Doom ripoff isn't complete without a ripoff of the planet Mars. How's the game not over yet? I've been playing for like 20 hours. I was especially stuck on the Mars level. That place was like a maze. Wait, is that Ahsoka? Maybe there's a turnaround for the game, and never mind, it's just Boba Fett. Fuck off. Boring, 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 lame, lame, lame. The briefing for this mission says that Rom Mach was a general during the Clone Wars, but there's a reason I didn't include him in my show. He would have sucked as a character, as he does here. This game is so immature that it has the enemies pissing in urinals. Toilet humor is so unfunny. Is that goo supposed to be melted cheese? The graphics are so fucking bad that they made toxic goo look wrong somehow. I used a cheat code to skip to the end because I couldn't take any more. I give this game a 0 out of 10. Don't buy it, don't wait for it to go on sale, or you're a fucking idiot. Under the mountain, the golden fountain, were you praying at the Lara's shrine? 